On a street in Izium with barely a house still standing, a sign reads, people with three small children. Inside, we find a young family growing up amid the horrors of war. Margarita's house was hit three times, first by a tank explosion, then artillery shelling. And finally, she says, by a cluster bomb, which her 10-year-old son Nikita saw falling on the yard. As Ukrainian advances have pushed fighting further east, the children of Izium are once again safe to play outside. The family survived more than five months under occupation in this frontline town. Margarita describes how she'd argue and shout down Russian soldiers demanding supplies. But nothing with which to feed her baby Sofia, just three months old, when Russia invaded. A few streets away, in another damaged home, we meet another war-scarred family, desperate to get away from the ruins. Дитячі садочки тут дуже зруйновані, немає достойної лікарської допомоги. Хоч це жити, але не виживати. She too has a baby, Katerina. Born this May, right in the middle of the war. Весь цей час там також я знаходилася там. Були там перебої з електроенергією та з постачанням води, але лікарі надавали Допомогу народила я сама. Все було добре, слава Богу. Seven months pregnant, cut off from the outside world when the Russians arrived, Antonina was simply unable to flee. А вони, типа, що ви що ви здесь делаєте, ведь іде війна. Ані так, так сказав. А він каже так, коли куди нам тікати? She now dreams of heading for a peaceful life in Germany to rebuild broken childhoods far from the destruction of Izium. <laughs>